सो टुडे वी गॉन आर रूट रेडमी नोट फोर स्नैप ड्रैगन वर्जन बेसिकली इट लॉन्च इन इंडिया द स्नैप ड्रैगन एंड इट चाइना इट्स मीडिया टेक सो लेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट स्टेप यू नीड टू अप्लाई फॉर द परमिशन एंड टू अप्लाई परमिशन आई विल गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो वंस यू गेट द परमिशन फ्रॉम एम आई यू विल गेट द परमिशन इन अप्रॉक्स वन वीक आई गॉट द परमिशन इन थ्री डेज वंस यू गेट द परमिशन यू कैन अनलॉक योर बूट लोडर विद एम आई अनलॉक टूल इफ यू ट्राई टू अनलॉक योर बूट लोडर द सेम डे वेन यू रिसीव मैसेज इन विच यू हैव गारंटेड टू अनलॉक बूट लोडर यू विल नॉट गेट success uh, it will stuck it at 50% while you unlock it so at least wait for 7 days then you can successfully unlock your bootloader and it will not get stuck at 50% so let's start first check that your bootloader is unlocked or not tap the mi ui version at least 4 to 5 times now go to additional setting and developer option So here you can see that my device is unlocked. First we need to install the global beta room or developer room because the stable room does not allow you to root your device and if you try to root that you will always get boot loop. Okay now let's power off our device. Now press the power button and volume down button simultaneously. So here you get the fast boot logo. Now connect your PC with our device. Now open up the ADB fast boot folder. Right click anywhere on this folder and then open command window here. Now we will get the command window like this. Type here fast boot boot twrp underscore mito img. Press enter. Now your phone will boot into the recovery mode. It's booting into the recovery mode. Swipe this. If you have the beta ROM on your USB drive then insert it. or if you have rom on your memory card then it's fine now select wipe and swipe this go back now wipe again advanced wipe and check this dalvik system data internal storage cache now go back and let's install the beta rom now browse to your folder where you have the beta rom so here we have the beta rom let's install it so we are installing the developer rom it will take some time okay done now wipe the cache and delvic now reboot your device Okay now we boot up let's complete this setup quickly Okay now you can see we are on developer room it's quite stable and it's android no good let's power off the device again to install the recovery Okay now press the power button and volume down simultaneously again it will boot into the fast boot Now connect the PC with your device so we were on the console type here fast boot flash recovery twrp mido.img it will flash the recovery on your device Okay now boot up into our recovery for that type fast boot boot twrp mido.img So here we are on recovery again and this time your recovery is completely installed in your device. Now put your USB or micro SD card where you have the super SU zip. Navigate to its location. First you need to install this lazy flasher no verify because if you don't flash this you will get stuck on MI logo. So it's compulsory you have to flash that. Now flash the latest Super SU if you have any. Installing Super SU. Flashing complete. Now reboot. Do not install this.
okay our device is now boot up see we got the super sc and now your device is rooted you can boot into the recovery anytime you want you just need to press the power button and volume up button simultaneously so if this was helpful to you give a thumbs up down below and thank you for watching this video